wanna die young Cause I got robbed with one Still turn toes down in my Balenciagas He pulled up on the nigga that's a shot to shot to Hold out the nigga with a block a block Gotta keep it on me no wanna die young I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by 6 Hey, what's up, what's happening? Roddy Rich, you was on some demon time in the clubhouse, you heard me? I never heard that bass in your voice. Hey, what's, the, what's up with you, big fella? Big fella, big fella. But before that, hey, bro, bro. That album, that wasn't it. That was in Pushing P, as the kids call it. I'm joking. Man, I'm gonna know that folks. Shit. Hey, we go, hey, anyways, that album wasn't it. I don't know what it was doing. The production was well. I never gave you a problem. A proper album review on Live Life Fast, but I'm gonna just tell you right now. Production was good. He was doing his thing, but the music, some of the hooks wasn't in the production and melodies. He was doing his thing. The mixing was crazy, but you got to take it back to that. What was that mixtape called? Fuck. Yeah, Antisocial and the mixtape with Die Young and I've been going so hard every season. That shit. You got to go back to that. I forgot what mixtape was called, but like he gotta go back to that type of vibe. I feel like that's what we like. Also, I feel like he took too long. I feel like some of the songs was good if he didn't wait as long, cause he's been killing a lot of features too, and Rockstar and all this other shit. So to hear this and it was kind of subpar, you're like, nigga, what the fuck? Especially we heard you on the Kanye shit. I thought you bringing some shit. Subpar. <coughs> <coughs> like I said, I'm getting. Over low code, but anyway, what's up? What's happening? It's K. We back in the snack. K. So good, he sleep with a cut up Patron. You know the little nigga one time. We to talk about Roddy Rich, and he was big bracking on a nigga. I mean, your crip nigga, right? He, he, he was going crazy on him off. Oh, sorry, that's some blood show. Sorry. <laughs> he was going crazy on a motherfucker on Clubhouse. And we, and by the way, do blood niggas call Clubhouse Blubhouse? I just want to know if y'all niggas that serious with the C shit. But anyways. You're gonna talk about it, so we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna cough one more time. <coughs> I get that bullshit on my voice here. Anyways, we're gonna talk about it. <coughs> Alright, so we had to talk about Roddy Rich. I had to re record this because I ain't like the last one I did, and I'm coughing a lot in it, so I might re record this again. But, anyways, Wack 100 brought Roddy Rich into a room to confront Yael. Which I hate that nigga. I hate that nigga straight name. Who has been spreading rumors about the rapper and his reputation. A clubhouse has become a place known for venting and confrontations. If you want to know, see my videos on Clubhouse. I have a lot of videos of rappers beefing on Clubhouse and talking about Clubhouse. But hey, go check that out. Cable Town Clubhouse. You're going to see it pop up. You hear me? Like, subscribe while you did. You hear me? But anyways, the app rose to fame during the quarantine lockdown. Kind of still going on. And became a staple for celebrities to jump into rooms and converse with fans and media. Now it is a staple for those looking to hash out differences. Karen Silva and Jenner Lucas became a trending topic after their clubhouse spat. And it looks like Roddy Rich has engaged in a back and forth with YL, a reported crip from Los Angeles. Apparently, there has been allegations that Ra Rowdy is false flagging. And he confronted YL about the rumors on clubhouse. I got a phone call. I got phone calls, text messages, I'm seeing on the internet, I'm false flagging. I want to know what's going on, said Rowdy. Also, Rowdy Rich, I don't know what it is, bro. The sock, I don't know what it is, bro. I don't know. It, I'm not going to say nigga false flag, but as a artist, he's going to go, he's going to be in different places. Yeah, he ain't in the hood as much anymore, but hey, it is what it is. Plus, bro, you got so much, you're going to leave, my nigga. You ain't trying to get robbed, like I always say. He got his enemies, but then he also got niggas like, bro, pandemic time, niggas trying to come up off a lick. Some niggas ain't been at work. Hey, the money ain't kind of slow. Nigg niggas gonna hit a lick. Or some niggas just gonna hit a lick because you got shit and they want it. He ain't as fortunate, you hear me? But anyways. So who's saying I'm not from the hood? You saying I'm not from the hood, he added, when YL stood his ground, while he continued to let him have it. I'm asking you a question. I ain't see, you ain't see me get put on by Black Mac. All right, champ, three N-words, put two of them down. That ain't official. I know a lot of homies that ain't get their official N-word. Yael told him to watch his tone, but Rowdy didn't care, and they continued to t to talk over one another. You ever touch a million dollars? I hate when rich niggas say this, but I digress. You ever touch a million dollars? I'm asking you a question. You ever touch a million dollars before, Rowdy asked? I'm asking you, do you know what it feel like? Because you here talking about another N-word for free. Laughing, you laughing, and I'm asking you a question. 
why L became upset and told Rowdy that real ones don't help him earn that money. Didn't help him earn that money. You're playing internet games on some ish. I don't even know. Sorry about that. You know, black people in the crib. But anyways, you didn't even help him earn that money. You playing internet games on some shit. I don't even know how to use this club. I was ish. I had to call whack four or five times. He calling me. You 30, 40 years old using the app. In the word, I'm 23. I don't even know how to use this ish. Because I'm over here trying to make Forbes again this year. The typical mild mannered rapper added that YL was trying to tear him down without mentioning all that Rowdy has done for his community. Roddy also listed off names of people from his neighborhood that have moved up in the industry ladder with him and have gone to form their own companies. He's also refuted that he was avoiding Compton, saying he shot all of his music videos there until his debut album and was there so often that his label told him he had to leave and film somewhere else. I've done made 20 million in a year. You think I'm about to be posted up with you, N-Word? So again, if you want to listen to the whole thing, you can go listen to it, but like again, basically some hood niggas talk. Like, see, this is the thing about it. Yeah, do I want artists to forget where they're from? We see that a lot. We see Kanye on his little Chicago walk through, you know, the trains in the background. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Try to be like, I'm restoring the feeling or whatever the fuck. Naming his kid Chicago, whatever the fuck that was. Don't even get me started on the names of them children. But, anyways, it was what it was, alright? trying to restore the feeling or when artists go on um do their pr and try to pop. it's like nle chopper when he dropped his like uplifting album now he back on his bullshit it's like i get he's an uplifting individual but probably for the music we want the bullshit where people was more um captivated by you talking the street shit so we like that more so he's like fuck it i'm trying to make money so i'm gonna talk about that shit even though i'm on my spiritual shit i'm i'm still talking about the bullshit because hey I'm still that nigga, yeah, I'm positive, but I'm still that nigga, you know, how he says in his music. So I could see that happening, and like I was saying, when you're in the music industry, it's all about selling yourself and your image. Like, again, some people try to be authentic, but some people, you got an image to protect at the end of the day, right? So when you got a motherfucker from the hood who's certified, like, gang member saying, you ain't that tough, you ain't really about that life that you portray, it's like... It is what it is. You're going to come out and defend yourself. So I understand that from maybe just a personal stance. Because, like, bro, I went through a lot of shit. But also a marketing stance. Because, yeah, even though Roddy Rich doesn't talk about that gang shit a lot. We all know, like, he got ties to it. Or, you know, he did whatever he did. It's kind of like the 6 9 thing. Remember when 6 9 when that shit came out that he wasn't really doing what he was doing? And he, he lost some of his audience. Some niggas don't even want to hear that shit from him anymore. It is what it is. He still got a fan base, but it's not like before. You've seen how, what he was doing before. Now it ain't. It ain't that at the end of the day. So, it is what it is. He's just trying to protect his brand. And hey, who knows? Maybe he really know YL. Maybe that really, like, somebody from... He got to check him. Like, nah, bro, I'm solidified. And for him, like, benefiting people in this community and some of the homeboys that surround him, like, building up, that's what you're supposed to do at the end of the day. So, hey, we're going to see what this is. I just feel like there's just a little tiff they had on Clubhouse. It ain't that serious. Wack was trying to, you know... Fucking be Jerry Springer and calm motherfuckers down and moderate the situation. But it was what it was. But hey, hey, Roddy Rich, keep getting your money while keep doing what you're doing. Y'all niggas shouldn't really be beefing our clubhouse. This could have been handled in a phone call. Y'all literally could have had a phone call off the internet and this would have been good. But like, hey, it is what it is. Hey, I tell you what, I paid more attention to this than your album. But hey, that's it, man. I'll say my piece. And respect to you, because he even came out saying, hey, man, that shit wasn't was in, was in there. My bad for that. I'm going to come with some other shit. So I respect that at the end of the day. He knew it wasn't that good. So, hey, I got to respect that at the end of the day. But, yeah, man, shout out Roddy. Shout out Wack doing his thing. Get Wack, up, Wack 100, a podcast, and YL, change your hood nigga name. I don't like how that sounds. But anyways, I said enough of my fucking piece on this shit. And what do you feel about it? Put your comments down below. Check out the links in the description. Um, I got some other videos out. You already know what it is. It's K.A. Vuitton, the black TJ. While your friendly neighborhood, K.A. I'm off of this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. So like and subscribe if you want to hear Modo. You heard me. Shlam, Zoom, Peace, Shout out, Gang. Ayy.